All right, guys, it is your boy, Mr. Nolan here. On the last video, we figured out the volume of rectangular prisms. On this one, it's a little bit harder because we are given the volume, so we're working backwards. So again, I drew my picture of my rectangular prism. So again, here's my base. I'm gonna shade it in. Shape my base is a rectangle. The formula for a rectangle is length times width. We will then multiply that by the third dimension. Well, if we look at this case, it gives me the volume of 160 cubic feet. So I'm gonna plug that in for my V. It gives me a length here of eight feet. It gives me a width here of four feet. My height, oh, that's my unknown. That's what I'm solving for. All right, so there's an extra step on this one. It's not too bad. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do eight times four. Can anyone tell me what eight times four is? 32. That is correct, it is 32. We're gonna multiply that by the height. So 32 times some unknown number H has to give me 160. Well, let's see what we can do. What's the inverse of multiplying by 32? Divide! Oh, very good. So all we need to do here is 160 divided by 32, and it gives you the height. So let's see. 32, 64, 96, 128, 160! Oh my god, how many fingers was that? Five! Good, so the height is five feet. Why don't we square it? Oh, so first of all, we don't square it because we're not solving for area. That's a very good question. Now, we don't cube it either because we didn't solve for the volume. We only solve for the height. Hence, there is no cube here. Very good question. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. All right, next one. Well, let's see here. It gives me the volume of 600 meters cubed. Well, it looks like my length is my unknown. It gives me a width of 5, and it gives me a height of 12. Now, remember, the big B is the area of the base. That is this rectangle right down here. That's your base. All right, so the first thing we need to do is 5 times 12. Well... 5 times 12 is 60. Now, L, some unknown number L times 60 has to give me 600. So, what's the inverse of multiplying by 60? Dividing. Dividing by 60. Well, 600 divided by 60. You see how they both end in a zero? Get rid of it. What's 60 divided by 6? 10. So your length is equal to 10 meters. Again, it is not cubed because we didn't solve for volume. If you notice, my volume here is cubed. Now, I want you all to notice one other thing. The height was 12 meters. The width was 5 meters. The length was 10 meters. How many M's do you see here? Three. That's how the volume is cubed. All right, guys, I hope this helps you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.